The Samsung Galaxy S25 series is still a few months away from its official launch, but that hasn't stopped the flow of leaks providing intriguing insights into the upcoming flagship smartphone lineup. The Ultra model is set to be a major highlight for the brand, and early reports suggest it may be slimmer than both the Pixel 9 Pro XL and the yet-to-be-released iPhone 16 Pro Max. Recently, a well-known leak source, Ice Universe, shared some details about the device's dimensions. In a post on X over the weekend, Ice Universe indicated that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will measure just 8.2 millimeters in thickness, a notable reduction from the Galaxy S24 Ultra's 8.6 millimeters. Additionally, it will stand at 162.8 millimeters tall, slightly taller than the current Ultra flagship, which is 162.3 millimeters. The width is also set to decrease from 79 millimeters to 77.6 millimeters, aligning with Ice Universe's earlier insights. To emphasize the evolution of Galaxy flagships, Ice Universe compared the dimensions of all Ultra models since the Galaxy S20 Ultra. If these details are accurate, it suggests that Samsung is rethinking its design for the early 2025 flagship, especially in light of feedback regarding the Galaxy S24 Ultra's comfort. Should these figures prove correct, the next Ultra will not only be thinner than its predecessor, but also the slimmest in the series so far. It appears that while it will be taller and slightly wider than the current model, the changes are minimal. This isn't the first indication we've received about the Galaxy S25 Ultra's slim profile. Earlier leaks hinted that it would be both thinner and lighter than its two main competitors, the Pixel 9 Pro XL and the forthcoming iPhone 16 Pro Max. Recently, OnLeaks and Ice Universe have subtly endorsed the notion of the Galaxy S25 Ultra. OnLeaks has hinted at the upcoming release of the first render image for the device, although they have only provided a heavily blurred version of one image so far. Meanwhile, Ice Universe has been actively sharing new insights about the Galaxy S25 Ultra through a series of tweets. One notable revelation includes an image that supposedly showcases the device's mid-frame. Reports suggest that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will feature more pronounced curved rear edges compared to previous models, even surpassing those of the Galaxy Z Fold 6. This design change could enhance ergonomics, provided that the refined edges offer a different feel in hand compared to Samsung's current flagship devices. The shift in dimensions may also indicate a return to a more rounded aesthetic, as the Galaxy S24 Ultra has flat screen edges, and any deviation from that design will likely require adjustments in size. Additionally, we anticipate a slight increase in screen size for the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, rumored to be 6.86 inches, compared to the 6.8 inches of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. There are also discussions about the Galaxy S25 Ultra adopting a more asymmetrical shape, with a rounded back that could enhance comfort during use. Meanwhile, according to the latest leak, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is set to feature 45-watt wired charging support. If this information holds true, it would mark the sixth Galaxy S Ultra model to reach this charging speed, aligning it with the current Galaxy S24+. Plus. Meanwhile, many Chinese brands are pushing the envelope with their flagship devices, boasting impressive 120-watt or 125-watt charging capabilities that can fully recharge a phone in under 20 minutes. In comparison, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to debut in January, promising a charging performance that takes it from 0 to 65% in just 30 minutes. So, if you were looking forward to a larger battery or quicker charging capabilities with the Galaxy S25 Ultra, you may find yourself disappointed. Meanwhile, competitors like OnePlus, Oppo, and Xiaomi have already begun outfitting their flagship devices with batteries exceeding 5,000 mAh, with some even experimenting with capacities of 6,000 and 7,500 mAh battery. The Galaxy S24 Ultra manages to last a full day under heavy usage and about a day and a half with moderate use. However, a larger battery would undoubtedly extend its life to a day and a half even during intense usage. As smartphone reliance grows daily, the significance of battery life becomes increasingly critical. It would be great to see Samsung adopt silicon carbide batteries, similar to those used by Chinese manufacturers in their premium devices. We know that the new lineup will feature either the Exynos 2500 chip or the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 processor, depending on the region, 
both of which are three NIM chips boasting significant performance enhancements. There are also whispers that these new chipsets may consume more power than the previous generation, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. If Samsung were to incorporate a slightly larger battery, it would be a fantastic move, but sadly, that doesn't seem to be on the agenda this year. We can only hope for an improved thermal system in the upcoming model, which could enhance efficiency to some extent. As we approach the Galaxy S24's debut in early January 2024, speculation surrounding Samsung's choice of system-on-chip has been rife. Conflicting leaks have hinted that the tech giant might either stick with Snapdragon chips for its 2024 flagship devices or introduce its own Exynos chip into the lineup. Ultimately, the Galaxy S24 Ultra has opted for Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, while other models outside the US are equipped with the Exynos 2400. Now there are intriguing yet mixed updates regarding the forthcoming Galaxy S25 series. A similar narrative is emerging for the Samsung Galaxy S25, as a recent leak suggests the entire lineup may fully embrace Snapdragon. According to a report from the Korean outlet Hankyum, which cites industry insiders, Samsung plans to exclusively feature Qualcomm's next-generation flagship Snapdragon chipset in the Galaxy S25. The company aims to enhance the Galaxy S25's AI capabilities, leading to a collaboration with Qualcomm on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 for Galaxy chipsets, specifically designed for the Galaxy S25. The report also indicates that this specialized Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 for Galaxy chip is currently under development, particularly tailored for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. This implies that the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus may receive standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chips, marking a significant shift from Samsung's usual approach of utilizing overclocked Snapdragon for Galaxy variants in all Snapdragon-equipped Galaxy S smartphones. Samsung appears to be concentrating on enhancing both the yield and performance of the Exynos 2500 chip, which was initially anticipated to feature in some Galaxy S25 models. Additionally, reports suggest that Samsung is considering incorporating the Exynos 2500 into the upcoming Galaxy Z Flip 7 and Fold 7, set to debut in the latter half of 2025. Notably, Samsung has never utilized an Exynos chip in its foldable devices. Earlier this year, there were incorrect claims that the Exynos 2400 would be included in the Galaxy Z Flip 6, but the device ultimately launched with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. Therefore, it's wise not to expect an Exynos-powered foldable phone in 2025. Now the question arises, would you be willing to pay a premium for a Snapdragon Galaxy S25? A Galaxy S25 series that relies solely on Snapdragon chips could present challenges beyond just performance, battery life, and features. Qualcomm has indicated that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, which is expected to power high-end devices in 2025, will come at a higher price point than the current Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. This could negatively impact the pricing of the Galaxy S25 series if it exclusively uses Snapdragon processors. With the launch of the Galaxy S25 series still a few months away, we can expect to see more conflicting rumors regarding Samsung's choice of system on chip in the weeks ahead. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you all in the next update. Until then, take care.